Hello, I hope everyone has had a safe week and is doing well. My name is Jazz, I'm an astrologer, and this video is an astrotuitive update. Just combining astrological and intuitive there because I'm a nerd like that, but this particular video will stretch in relevance into the beginning of Libra season. So this really, um, the whole second half of the September here is going um, to kind of relate to this video here. Obviously, next week's video will relate really more specifically with the um, that the, the last part of um, September here, but this will be the whole second half of September. This week, right in the beginning, um, we do have Venus moving into Scorpio on Friday, September 10th. This transit could bring up some emotional intensity, even manipulation, but also emotional transformation on a more positive and mature side of, um, of that. Then on Tuesday, September 14th, the Sun and Neptune will come into opposition to reveal something that you certainly did not see coming but it makes sense of the weird energy you may have been feeling leading up. Also on Tuesday, Mars will begin its transit into Libra, which indicates um, indecision as well as considering other perspectives before taking actions on things. I'll talk about actual Libra season in next week's video more in depth. A lot of things, both personally and collectively, are going to feel up in the air to say the least you may even be struggling to find your footing metaphorically maybe you're holding your breath and swimming underwater until things clear up don't show your cards if possible don't even play the game this week the territory is different and you may not know it i'm not trying to frighten anyone i'm just saying that use caution and only do what feels right your gut will know. A lot of people will have just seen something that scared the crap out of them. Like a monster from a nightmare crawling around real life. It will have been different for everyone. But for most people, it disappears just as quickly as it appeared. For others, Virgo season came in with a traumatic experience and will leave us with healing to be had. Whatever you saw, like a clue to a riddle that life is daring you to solve, or maybe it's the entrance to a mysterious, more arduous challenge that you need to pass to get to the next level. What is the question you're being asked? We've been led by sleepwalk to a battlefield or maybe just a playing field. We wake up and we open our eyes and it's just not in our hearts to fight. We're buying time, we're watching and listening, but everything has come to a still. What do you smell? Because scent cannot be masked right now. A fish will be fishy, a fire like smoke. The enemy that sets traps in your life is not the team wearing the other color. It is not someone or something that can be cut with a sword. Unspoken truces are being forged tentatively and in all kinds of scenarios. You're beginning to see your real hindrance for what it is, and you are stronger than it is because one ounce of fear and hatred has nothing on even just one ounce of love and kindness. We all have something held on the line right now, even if it's just a vulnerability that we don't want to show. Sometimes you still get stung through your clothes even when your heart was under your sleeve the whole time. The sky may be overcast and the water may be murky, murky, <laughs> mercury. <laughs> Anxieties may be high as we wait out the silence, but it won't be forever. You'll prevail. If you find yourself afraid or unsure, just close your eyes and ask yourself, what do you smell? Close your eyes and, and know your truth. What are you destined to do about it? Free will and fate work together and are ultimately parallel. So I ask you, 
what burns fiercely in your soul begging to be shared with the world that needs it just as much as you need to release it water it and grow it it's already been planted stay agile able to think fast negativity has is no longer welcome but it's going to try disguise despise how far you've come it won't be evicted without a fight well we're here and we are more ready than we know. While it's scrambling to recover since the exposure of its only card that it really ever had on you, you've been thinking, you've gotten rest. The trajectory of your life as well as that of humanity will not be the same and I say that in a very positive way. Thank you for watching my video today. Please give it a like. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel, Serious About Stars. Let me know in the comments or on Instagram if you like these videos uploading on Saturdays or if it's better for you to get them on Fridays a day earlier. Next week we have a full moon in Pisces, the start of Libra season, and Mercury about to station retrograde, so there's a lot coming, so you don't want to miss it. Um, stay tuned. Also let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. I hope you all have a safe and great week ahead. I hope you have a positive experience of energies coming in. See you next week. Bye.